in this video we'll talk about default methods and interface so we have seen that right in fact uh, when you talk about interface the only difference between interface and abstract class is in abstract class we can define methods right so in abstract class we can define methods and we can declare methods so we, we have both the things right but in interface we can only declare methods right we cannot define it so defining is not possible in interface but that was a thing only till 1.7 the problem is you know the, the world is changing i mean there are lots of things which are changing example from normal softwares from normal database management system we are moving towards big data right so we have lots of requirement where you have to process huge amount of data and when you when you want to process huge amount of data you need special functions, you need special features in your language. Uh, so example, when you talk about uh, the concept of big data, we use Hadoop, we use Spark, which is Apache Spark. And to work with Apache Spark, people normally prefer to use Scala. And somewhere Java was feeling that, you know, people are moving from Java to Scala. It is time for us to upgrade. So the only way to upgrade is to add new features, right? And when you want to add new features, that means we have to either create some new interfaces or new classes or we have to modify some interfaces. The problem is we are not allowed to modify the interfaces. Again, we'll, we'll see that once we start with collection topic, we'll see why we should not modify interfaces. So due to some certain requirement, in Java 1.8, we can define method in interface. Now this is not possible before 1.8, okay? If I'm using 1.7 or below, this will not work. So it only works in Java 1.8. So you can define methods now. Now the real question is then why we need, I mean, why we have interface and then, I mean, what's the, what's the main difference between that? So we don't have much difference now due to uh, method definition interface. So given a choice, always go for interface now because we can also declare and define there. So what we'll do now is let's say we, let's say we have an interface here and I will create the interface as, so I will say interface uh, demo interface. So we have an interface which is demo and in this interface i want to declare a method so the only way you can declare the method is by specifying a return type which is void and void and we can mention the method name let's say abc that's the method name we have and that's a declared method right but let's say i want to define a method now can we define a method let's try if i say public void show and if i try to define a method by saying i will say in show and as soon as i try to save this you can see there's an error here and it says that you cannot Okay, abstract method do not specify a body. I mean, by default, in interface, we can have only abstract methods, right? So this is not possible. So now what we'll do is we'll, so to define this, we have to use a special keyword called as default. So using default, you can say, you can define a method now. You can see there is no error. And unfortunately, again, we cannot create object of interface. So let's create a class and we'll name this class as demo impl, which implements your interface, which is demo. Let's create that method which is abc we'll say public void abc and we'll say system.out.println and it is working here because it is a public method i guess because of the interface it was not able to interpret this okay let's let's print here let's say in abc now you can see we have we have a demo method i mean the show method and then we have abc method which is defined i cannot create object of interface but i can create the reference of interface right so i can say demo obj equal to new demo impl and let's call obj.abc so it works and if you, we can even call obj.show so this default method will also come inside this class okay same like inheritance if i run this code you can see we got in show i mean in abc and in, in show so that means we can define methods and interface now uh, because of the new update in java 8 so we can have default methods again we'll see the real reason for this why we are supposed to define method interface so once we start with the topic of collection and generics in that we'll talk about default methods so time and remember that in interface we can define methods we can say default void show and we are defining it right so we can define methods we can define multiple methods here now in total how many methods we have we have two methods right so is it a functional interface let's try so if i make it a functional interface if i if i write functional interface about that and you can see it is not giving you any error. Even if you have two methods, as we have seen in the last video that functional interface will have only one method, right? So the real reason is functional interface will have only one abstract method. In this, we, have, we do have two methods, but both are different, right? One is abstract and one is default. So we can have any number of default methods, but you have to make sure that you have only one, one abstract method here. 
So that's that's the point. So this is also a functional interface. Now, can we achieve method overriding? I don't want this definition. I want to have my own definition. Can we do that? If I say public void show, let's see if it is if it is overriding it or not. We'll say in new show. And if I run this code, it should print in new show. Is it working? Yes, perfectly. So that means this method can be overrided in the class itself. Yeah, that's about default methods in interface. We can define methods. So that's it. Thank you so much.